Hello and welcome to the longest explanation on how to make pizza ever, but I hope you really dedicate to it because it's going to be really good. Alright, before we get started, we're going to do some food porn. Okay, I'll stop. That was weird. Okay, so most Americans will probably think of pizza as literally just putting as much cheese as you can onto it, piloting on a bunch of meat and stuff. Oh, pepperoni. So yeah, they'll pile on a bunch of meat and sausages and things and then add more cheese and I call that a day. But basically, that is going to turn out super greasy and pretty unhealthy and if you take that to an Italian they will slap you in the face and then scold you on how to properly make pizza. Because what they do is they usually take clumps of fancy cheese, I have ricotta, it's normally they use a mozzarella, they'll just take clumps of it, drop it down over wherever they want it. They'll add tomatoes if it's a margarita if they want to, then on top of that they'll just add a bay leaf. A lot of bay leaf. I like to break it up so it spreads the flavor around a little bit. But a lot of bay leaf, maybe a little bit of oregano on it, and they'll pretty much call that a day. So this is nice and light and super healthy. This is really he heavy, really greasy, high fat content, and is not going to be very healthy. Now, these are very stark, contrasting ways to make pizza. I'll show you guys a little way so you can kind of meet in the middle about it. So if you want to go more like this style, you can go a little bit lighter on the cheese, but you can add in more than just a bunch of meat. See chicken, even though it's meat, it has low fat content and it doesn't have a lot of sterols, so it's a little bit healthier protein if you're wanting to go really protein heavy like that is. I have to taste everything because you gotta know, you gotta taste it because you gotta make sure it's not poisonous, you know? But you don't need more as much as that. If you want, you can do fish. I've seen anchovy pizzas and sardines on pizzas, but I find that completely weird. As well as I don't think fish goes really well with pizza. It's kind of iffy. You can experiment and try on your own, but you can also use turkey on it. Turkey has a higher uh, percentage of protein to it, as well as its fats are not as, not as much cholesterol as it would for red meat and whatnot. Um, but you can also add in vegetables that are high in protein. Brussels sprouts here, as much as people may protest, and to, to say they're not very tasty, as long as they're cooked, they won't be as bitter, and I think they're just as delicious. So you can use, and they also, yeah, bleh. You can use these, as well as they have a high concentration of protein. You can also, if you're really feeling brave, you can add kale onto it. Just a couple of bits here and there. Just because kale, it's a super, super vegetable kind of a way. It's high iron content, so try not to eat too much of it at one time. But it's also got high protein, it's also really good for you. So that's one way you can make heavy protein pizza, but without having a lots of extra fat and sterile. So this is just as much protein as that, and it's going to be a whole lot healthier for you because all the vegetables with it add more nutritional content, as well as going lighter on cheese keeps the calories low. If you want something a little bit more like this, you can take clumps of the fancy cheese, Actually, take smaller bits of it, spread out the love a little bit. Spread around the love of cheese. If you want, you can go with that. You can go same with tomatoes. A couple tomatoes. But you can add as much vegetables and any kind of vegetables as you want. You can add some carrots to it. Add a little bit of crunchiness. If you want, you can even add a couple of onions. Make it kind of interesting. You can even add cabbage. Weirdly enough, cabbage goes well. There's some red cabbage. I also have some green cabbage over here. Some the small pieces go on top. Yeah, pretty healthy. Go look in there. There's a lot of vegetables, a lot of nutritional content, pretty low on the calories. If you really wanted, you can add chicken onto it too, but I think this is going to be pretty good here. But along with our fancy cheese, that it's a soft cheese. So, and it's soft and it's kind of a bland kind of flavor, not bland, but you want to have a contrasting cheese to it to help with ease. So if you use like a sharp cheddar, I'm using like a Monterey Jack, Monterey 
Monterey Sharp Cheddar, that I couldn't say that, to help contrast it out and it helps bring out more cheese goodness in that flavoring as well as it bounces out. So yeah, these are four different ways you can make pizza. You can go very traditional, margarita kind of style, uh, or you can go the American style of just throwing a bunch of meat and cheeses on it and seeing how that goes. You can stay protein, you can stay healthy with a lot of protein, or you can go completely healthy. It all just depends on the amount of toppings you put on, the type of toppings, the amount of toppings you put on, whether or not it will come out good or not. All of these will taste delicious, it's just the toppings that make the pizza, make or break it in terms of not only taste, but health. Let's stick it in the oven. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention on the all veggie pizza, if you want, you could throw on some garlic salt and a little bit of pepper, and that's gonna make it turn out really good because that salt is gonna bring out some of the flavoring of the vegetables, and so it won't just taste like you're eating just the salad, in case you were wondering. But basically, all of these are really good. The, the one with the all meat, of course, is a little bit greasy, but it's still pretty good tasting if you wanna do that, but if again, this is what will be the normal comfort food, but if you're trying to make it a healthier version of it, you can go with something traditional and Italian like this. You can go again with the high protein but still good veggies here, or you can go with the all, all veggies one there. This is all your choice, but either of these are going to be really good. I don't know which one to eat first now. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Alright, so anyways, if you liked this, um, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. If not, Comment below on what I did badly because you're a mean person. Alright, see you next time. Oh man, that's so good. Mmm. I am way too good at cooking.